Hi there, today we're going to show you how to restring an acoustic guitar, a six string acoustic electric. And uh, here are some of the tools we're going to use. First we have a pair of uh, pliers and uh, or wire cutters basically. We have a string winder, we have a tuner, we have some Gibson polish, we have a polish cloth, we have a set of strings, and then we have some 3-in-1 oil to treat the uh, neck, to clean it. And then we have some ivory soap, which is a neat little trick that I'll show you uh, when we go ahead and restring. So we're going to go ahead and set up the guitar um, for restringing, and uh, we'll get to it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take the old strings off. We're going to. Some people prefer to uh, restring their guitar one string at a time. In other words, they take one off, then put another one on, and uh, that's perfectly acceptable. However, if you want to clean the neck, like I'm going to show you, we're going to take um, all six strings off at once um, and then clean the um, fretboard and then we're going to go ahead and put the strings back on. Um, but usually I would restring one string at a time, but right now my board needs a little bit of uh, cleaning there. Um, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and unwind them. So this is your basic string winder. You'll also notice that there is a little rounded nub at the end there, and that is for pulling pins, your bridge pins up. Uh, so we'll show you that in a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and just de-string de it. The thing you want to be careful about when you do do all str six strings when you take all six off at once or you could take five off and leave the sixth string on is that you want to be careful not to move your uh, bridge piece um, you don't want it to slip out and then you put it in incorrectly you'd have some burrs and issues later on you want to seat that exactly the way it came off so we'll probably do five strings put them on There we are, we're just taking them down. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take a little six out. Okay, all the strings are now off. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and use our pin puller, which you see here has the um, little lever that we use to pull the pins out. And there you go, just pull them up one at a time. And I like to keep the same pins in each one. Very simple. This is a workhorse guitar. It's not one designed for uh, collectability. This is just a Yamaha guitar for playing gigs. It's very inexpensive. Okay. And as you'll notice, I'm leaving this piece right where it is because uh, it's all got grooves in it from where the strings are and we don't want to uh, flip it around. You'll have some issues. So there we've gone ahead and take off, taken the strings completely off the guitar. Now I'm going to show you how to clean the fretboard with some 3-in-1 oil. Now what I usually do, and I learned this from working at a popular luthier. Uh, I worked there for a while. Uh, what they use is uh, just simple 3-in-1 light machine oil on their uh, rosewood fretboards. Uh, it helps clean it and treat the wood, moisturize it. So basically you just go ahead and put a dab every couple of blocks. Not a lot, just a little. And 
Then you go ahead and take an old clean or somewhat clean rag and you just sort of rub the 3-in-1 oil right into the frets. That's like that. It'll clean any finger marks off and treat treat the wood, moisturize it. Some people recommend rose oil and all that. That just cleans it. It doesn't really soak into the wood and treat it, moisturize it. So as you can see, it's cleaning up nicely. And it will evaporate eventually. This is a trick that a local guitar shop taught me. They also so occasionally might take some steel wool and run it down the frets if they're uh, getting corroded, but I did not do, choose to do that this time. It's just a quick string change and cleaning. All right, there we go. And another little trick, neat trick while you have this out is to treat the um, rosewood bridge with your leftover oil. Just try not to get it on the top because you're going to be using polish there. Let's help clean it. I'm leaving the pins in because I don't want to mix them up. There you go. You can just sort of use that to clean. There you go. And that's how we usually clean. And also rub the excess off. Okay. Now the next big secret I'm gonna show you to prevent breakage of strings here up on the nut is uh, your basic ivory soap. Ivory soap contains glycerin, which is a natural lubricant. So you can uh, cut a little piece off or just use the whole bar. And then you basically just want to work some into the slots. And I'll give it some natural glycerin that'll lubricate it. You can blow off the excess. And as you lay your string in, it'll have a little bit of glycerin in there and help lubricate it. Some people use graphite. Uh, we find that ivory soap's just as good and cheap. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and restring. So we're going to go ahead and take the uh, sixth string here, the E, little E. Go ahead and put that in. You want to sort of catch the ball and allow the ball to slip up. Then you're good. Take the next one, this is your E, your A, I'm sorry. And run that one now. We got your D. G. As you can see, I'm holding it up and pushing the pin down so the ball stays snug at the end of the bridge. And we got our B. And the last one.
Okay, now that we're down to the last part, we're going to go ahead and string and tighten the strings up. I'm going to put the tuner on. Pull it through. And then I'm going to loop it this way. So that the string's like that. And I'm going to hold it down. And I use the winder and wind it up. At the same time, feeding it into the slot on the nut, which I lubricated. And now, here we go, we're getting tighter. Here we go. There we go. Do the same exact thing for the next one. I'm also winding the string so that one wind goes around the top and one goes around the second underneath so that it stays tight. I'm going to loop it in the opposite direction. Once around the top, and then the rest all go underneath. so on and so forth. We have the last two strings and this is pretty much how you do it. Also, to help tidy things up you can clip the tops off as you go here so that they're out of the way and don't poke your eyes out. And also you want to retune when you get them all tightened up. Around the top. Tighten up around the bottom. And the last one. And that's how we restring the guitar. The next thing you can do is go ahead and spray some polish on there and use your cloth that doesn't have any contaminants on it and polish. You want to polish it really well until that polish shines and there's no excess. And then you're good to go. You can just retune when you're ready. And that's it. So thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed our video.